With over 10 million claims, will surging unemployment crush home sales? If you want to know everything from living, dining, sleeping, buying, and selling in the Detroit Metro, hit subscribe and tap the bell because I have new videos coming out weekly. And I absolutely love when people call me, text me, or email me because they're thinking about buying or selling in the Detroit Metro. So if you have any plans whatsoever to buy or sell in the Detroit Metro, call me, text me, email me, or even send the pigeon carrier because I've got your back. 10 million Americans lost their job over the past two weeks. The next announced unemployment rate on May 8th is expected to, to be in the double digits. Because the health crisis brought the economy to a screeching halt, many are feeling a personal financial crisis. James Bullard, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of St. Louis, explained that the government is trying to find ways to assist those who have lost their jobs and the companies which were forced to close. And think, you know, your neighborhood restaurant that was forced to close. And in a recent interview, James said, this is a planned, organized partial shutdown of the US economy in the second quarter. The overall goal is to keep everyone, households and businesses whole. That's promising, but we're still uncertain as to when the recently unemployed will be able to return to work. And another concern to consider is how badly will the US economy be damaged if people can't buy homes. A new concern is whether the high number of unemployed Americans will cause the residential real estate market to crash, putting a greater strain on the economy and leading to even more job losses. The housing industry is a major piece in the overall economy in the United States. And Chris Herbert, Managing Director of the Joint Center for Housing Studies of Harvard University, in a post titled Responding to the COVID-19 Pandemic, addressed the toll this crisis will have on our nation. And he explained in the following, housing is a, a foundational element of every person's well-being and with nearly a fifth of U.S. gross domestic product rooted in housing-related expenditures, it is also critical to the well-being of our broader economy. And how has the unemployment rate affected home sales in the past? I know it's logical to think there would be a direct correlation between the unemployment rate and home sales. And as the unemployment rate went up, home sales would go down. And when the unemployment rate went down, home sales would go up. However, research reviewing the last 30 years doesn't show that direct uh, relationship. As noted in the graph, the blue and gray bars represent home sales, while the yellow is the unemployment rate. And take a uh, close look at numbers one through four. In number one, unemployment rate was rising between 92 and 93, yet home sales increased. In number two, the unemployment rate was rising between 01 and 03, and home sales also increased. Number three, the unemployment rate was rising between 07 to 2010, and home sales significantly decreased. And number four, the unemployment rate was failing continuously between 2015 and 2019, and it was relatively flat. So the impact of the unemployment rate on home sales doesn't seem to be as strong as we might have thought. Isn't this time different? And that's yes. There is no doubt the country hasn't seen job losses this quickly in almost 100 years. And how bad could it truly get? And Goldman Sachs projects the unemployment rate to be 15% in the third quarter of 2020, flattening to single digits by the fourth quarter of this year. And then just over 6% by the fourth quarter of 2021. Not ideal for the housing industry, but manageable. And how does this compare to other financial crises? Some believe this is going to be reminiscent of the Great Depression. 
And from the standpoint of unemployment rates, um, the only thing that this article really addresses, it doesn't compare. And the bottom line, we've, been get, we've given you the facts as we know them. The housing market will have challenges this year. However, with the help being given to those who have lost their jobs and the fact that we're looking at a quick recovery for the economy after we address the health problem, the housing industry should be fine in the long term. Just make sure you're staying safe during this time.